This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University. And today I wanted to talk about how Coinbase is literally junk. Last week we covered how the SEC is in the process of suing Coinbase for listing unregistered securities and for staking unregistered securities. There were some additional developments over the weekend. CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, did an interview with the Wall Street Journal, which at this point I think he's probably wishing that he had not done. Pleditor on on uh, Twitter has a nice post about this. Brian Armstrong squirms and gives a non-answer when asked if Coinbase invests in projects that they later list to trade for retail customers. It appears that this is in fact true, as uh, Jack Dorsey is asking here. I thought John uh, Deritis here had a very nice response. Whoa, that is very wrong. If this is the case, they just committed one of the worst financial crimes of our generation. Think of how many people bought into a listed coin on their platform to only get wrecked in the following weeks after. Every time a coin was listed, it would plummet in price. If they purchased a ship coin weeks or months before they considered its listing, they just rug pulled their own customers over and over and over again. Pleditor also did a fact check. He went through Coinbase Ventures, which is their VC arm, their entire portfolio, and he found these 30 projects that were both part of their investment portfolio as well as traded on the Coinbase exchange. So that is certainly a smoking gun. If we take a look at their financials, I want to go a little bit into more of the reason why I say that Coinbase is literally actually junk. If we look at the last 12 months of trailing uh, trailing net income available to common, common stockholders, they've lost $2.6 billion. Now, this is not a good thing because they happen to have long-term debt of $3.4 billion. And so they're hemorrhaging money, they're bleeding money. At the same time, they have this large amount of debt that they need to service. And if we take a look at their free cash flow, which is normally how you would think about whether a company can service their debt, they have negative free cash flow of 1.6 billion over the past 12 months. Now, these are very worrisome financial numbers, but they become even worse when you consider that these numbers are snapshots before the SEC's lawsuit. And if Coinbase loses this case in the US as I expected, well, Coinbase will no longer be able to stake ETH in the US, which is a major driver of revenues. Coinbase will no longer be able to offer trading services for anything except Bitcoin in the US. A lot of people are saying, well, that's okay, right? It can just move overseas. There's all this talk about Coinbase considering UAE as a potential new headquarters as it seeks to move outside of US jurisdiction. There's only one tiny problem with this for Coinbase, which is that all of their customers are in the US. 88% of their revenues derived from United States customers, and that's and they only have 85, looks like 85 million for the last quarter uh, of overseas revenue. So they can certainly move to the UAE. Unfortunately, they're not gonna be able to offer their services anymore to US citizens and US re residents. And so when you take a look at their financials and you see how they're, they're hemorrhaging money and unable to service their debt, this is gonna get even worse, obviously, when they lose 88% of their revenue if they're forced overseas. The bond market is actually already anticipating something like this to happen, which is why their bonds, Coinbase's bonds, are trading at 57 cents on the dollar. This gives them a yield of approximately 16%, which puts Coinbase bonds firmly in junk territory. This company is dead man walking. It's a dead man walking. Its bonds are trading at almost 50 cents on the dollar. It's trading like a junk bond. And we, I expect to see the equity price adjust as well, adjust downwards. The bond market is usually correct about these things. So I think it might be a really good idea to get your fiat cash and Bitcoin off of Coinbase. I believe that the stock is probably a zero and that the bonds, etc., et will be impaired as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.